Hello everyone, here is a question on square root. The question is, find the square root of 7744 by prime factorization. So, there are many methods by solving a uh, square root of a given number. So, in this case, we have mentioned that find the square root by prime factorization. So, we are going to use a prime factorization method to get the square root. You have a division method, but since we have not mentioned any, uh, any like we, ha we have mentioned prime factorization in this question, I am going to use this method. So prime factorization, like you all know, we have to use only a prime numbers when you're factorizing it. Now let's start this. So we have 7744, which is an even number. So we're going to start with the first prime number, which is 2. Right, so 2, 3s are 6. So 2, 3s are 6 means 1 will be the remainder when you subtract from 7, right? So that 1, I'm going to add here. That makes the number 17. So add means it's not 1 plus 7. I'm just keeping a 1 over there. Like how you do in the division, you, you drop the 7, right? So that that number will form a 17, same way. So the number forms 17 here. So 2 8s are 16. Again, 1 will be the remainder. I'm going to write along with 4. That make the number 14. 2 7s are 14. And then we have a 4 left. So 2 2s are 4. Then again, we have an even number. So it goes in 2 table. So 2 1s are 2. 1 is a remainder. So I'm going to write along with 8. That makes the number 18. So 2 9s are 18. We have 7. 2 3s are 6. 1 will be the remainder. We have a 12. 2 6s are 12. Again, it's an even number. I'll go with 2 again. So we cannot divide 1. So I'm going to take 19. Same like how you do in normal division. Same thing. I'm doing a short way. So we have a number 19 now. Since I cannot divide 1, I'm going to take a 2 digits. It's 19. So 2 9s are 18. 1 is a remainder. I'm going to write along with 3. That makes a number 13. And 2 6s are 12. So 1 is again a remainder. Then 2 8s are 16. Then again we have even number. I'm going to take 2. 2 4s are 8. 1 is a remainder. We got 16. So 2 8s are 16. And then 2 4s are 8. Then we have again even number. So I'll go with 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 4s are 8. Then 2 2s are 4. Again we have an even number. I'll take 2. 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are 2. Now we got 121. So let me write down here. So 121, I'm just doing continuation here, 121. Now 121 is an odd number, like it doesn't go in 2, 3, 7, 5, it doesn't go in any table except 11. And 11 is a prime number. So 11, 11 is 121, it's the square of 11. So I'll go and take directly 11, 11 is 121. Again we got 11, so 11 ones are 11. Now we got 1 at the end, so you can stop. Now how to find out the square root so for any number if the given number is a perfect square okay then we can easily find out the square root only thing is we have to pair the prime factor that is let me just rewrite this once again so we got 7 7 4 4 which is equal to write down all these factors what we got here right so this is just count how many twos we got so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 twos we got so it's 2 into Two, I'm just rewriting it into 2 into 2 into 2 and then we have a 2 11 also so 11 into 11 now once we have written all the prime factor you have to pair if the number is a perfect square you will get a proper pairing there will be no factor left out that is uh, see I can pair these two numbers okay and then I can pair these two numbers I'm pairing this two and I'm pairing this. Pairing means you should uh, make a set of uh, two factors. That is not the number two. The We have to form a set of two. And there should be no factor left out. So you can see here, they, they all are forming a pair here. There's no factor left out. If there's an in factor left out, it's single number or the, it isn't forming any pair, that means the number is not a perfect square. You cannot find out the square root. Okay? Now it's a perfect square. You can find out the square root. So what will be the square root? So square root of 7744 will be equal to. So from each pair you take one one factor. So from here I'll take one two. From here I'll take another two. 
from here I'll take another 2 and from the last set I'll take 1 11 and then just multiply them so 2 2's are 4, 4 2's are 8, 8 11's are 88 so square root of 7744 is 88 so same process goes for any other number if they have changed the number and they are asking us to find out the square root you can use a prime factorization method and just pair up from each way you take one one factor and multiply i hope this question is clear in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching